Have you ever truly thought about the substantial role mental health has not only played in the world around us, but also in ourselves? I think this topic is incredibly important and underlooked and underestimated and even possibly brings embarrassment. Mental health in simple terms is a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. I'm going to talk about certain factors that can play a role in one's mental health, types of mental health, and ways people can get the best help for mental health matters. Firstly, there are so many factors and roles that can play into one's mental health and well-being. I'm going to exemplify ways that it can play in and also talk about the largest role due to researchers. Child abuse, trauma, and neglect is the most popular global contributor to mental health issues, not only in the United States, but also around the whole world. Social isolation, especially in children younger than 18, is the second most common contributor to mental health issues. Discrimination, stigma, racism, etc. is the third most common for mental health issues around the globe. Furthermore, it is crucial to acknowledge the different types of mental health and mental illnesses as well. The most common disorder are anxiety disorders among people around the globe. They impact nearly as many people as depression and are troubling for daily life lively activities. The second most common mental health disorder is addiction. To alcohol and other substances, addiction across the globe impacts 200 plus million people and continues to grow across certain societies like the United States. The third most common mental health disorder is schizophrenia and other psycho other psychotic mental health disorders. Three, these disorders play a major role in the alternation of an individual's ability to complete daily tasks and act as they need to for each day. Lastly, there are so many ways individuals can get help from the mental health situation presented upon them. It is also crucial to acknowledge that mental health disorders don't have to be an embarrassing thing. There are so many ways people can get help and be almost completely cleared. And I'm going to state some of the good ones. The first good way to help your state of mental health is counseling. There are many types of counseling, but a more one-on-one -on -one experience with a therapist is a great way to help your state of mental health. Talking and listening is so important in a therapy session, which was a course resource in chapter two, as we talked about how talking and listening to each other and the cognitive listening and the ways that people speak and everything else, and how that's important to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with another person, because this is a communication course. The second best way to help your mental health issue is prescription. It is crucial to develop good relationships around you, but the advancement in medicines and other substances can truly help you cause, especially with the advancement in the last 10, 20 years. The third most common and useful way are support groups. Connection with not only your family, but also your community around you can play a substantial role in helping your mental health situation. Communication is integrated into our everyday lives in so many ways, and that key component is crucial to good livelihood which was a course resource in chapter one of the textbook. In conclusion, one's mental health is so important for the uniqueness and well-being of yourself. I'm going to talk about certain factors. I am going to talk about certain factors that can play a role in one's mental health, types of mental health, and ways people can get the best help for mental health matters. What mental health needs is more sunlight, more condor, and more unashamed conversation. That was a quote by Glenn Close because mental health is a very neglected topic to talk about because a lot of people feel that it is like a scary topic to not only talk to your friends and family about but also your parents as a whole because a lot of people feel that it's embarrassing because some might not have it or some you're not used to it in a family like yours so it's important to at least bring up the topic kind of into the situation and because mental health is like, like defining mental health again in simple terms of the person's condition with regard to their physical and emotional well-being of state. And if one of those factors is out of the picture, it can lead to other issues like physically harming yourself or you completely failing out of school or, I mean, anything like you'll even notice like now, like. A lot of people, like sometimes when you go to a therapist, the first thing they will say is go home and clean your house or clean your room or clean something because some because a lot cleanliness can be a major part of mental health. Like, for example, many people, this is a fun fact about mental health as well. Many people that have a very messy room actually have poor mental health because it the cleanliness and well-being of the place you technically own and live as your bedroom 
is the place that needs to be kept clean the most because it is your bedroom, not only, and second off, if there's stuff laying everywhere, that's how you treat your home. So obviously your emotional and physical, if you're just throwing everything around, state is not healthy due to the art room again. So just stating the quote again from Glenn Close is, what mental health needs is more sunlight, more condor, and more unashamed conversation because it's so important to at least bring the topic kind of back in to the game as it is so important to at least talk about with people. Thank you.